All right, lads. I was on Twitter there, and I seen a post from a crowd called Chin Check Boxing. Okay, now they they're reporting, and they have stated that in the tweet. This is just it's being reported. Okay, that the proposed fight, which would be Wilder's comeback fight against Charles Martin, is now reportedly off. Okay, now they say reportedly, so I'm not saying that this is necessarily fact, but this is what's being reported anyway. They are saying that the reason why this fight is now not taking place, or reported to be not taking place, is because Team Wilder, okay, now wait for this. Charles Martin, former IBF champion, shortest heavyweight champion of all time, reigning heavyweight champion of all time, lost after that, has not really fought anybody, you know, since then. They are asking, or demanding, I should say, a, well, they're alleged to be demanding, I should say, actually, correction, an eight figure purse right so eight figure purse is 10 million or above against charles martin coming off a loss eight figures reportedly now i i really don't if that's true then I really don't know what to say because whilst I'm all for fighters getting paid and I'm happy to see fighters get paid a lot of money you have to be realistic you might have got eight figures in your pay-per-view against Tyson Fury you ain't gonna get it against Charles Martin ain't no way you're getting eight figures against Charles Martin no way coming off a loss in the economy that we're in I mean, like, pfft, eight figures, no way. That, to me, is one of two things. Either Deontay Wilder, and I'm not saying this is this is the truth. I'm not saying this is fact. Either Deontay Wilder just doesn't want to fight anymore unless it is for outrageous money, or it's his team. And, like, look, I've never met the guy in person. I don't know him personally, but one thing I've always been throughout my life is I've been a good judge of character. You know, I've always been able to get a good gauge of, of a person. Um, and, you know, during 2020, I was able to do that as well just by seeing certain people on TV and, you know, in interviews. I was able to kind of get a good gauge of what they were like. And when I look at someone like Jay Dees, I see someone who, to put it nicely, if we were in a room full of clocks and he said it's three o'clock, I'd still be checking my iPhone just to be on the safe side. That's how little I trust him. I, the guy has no fighters other than Deontay Wilder that will, or have notes that will make him any money. I reckon, and I'm not saying it's necessarily just him, I suspect if it is the case, it's his team or it's, he's part of the team that are wanting crazy money because they've been, you know, lapping it up some of the paychecks while it's been getting they want that to continue to ask for 10 million to fight someone like charles martin no disrespect to charles martin he's shown me to have more heart than i thought he's proven to be an improved fighter over the years so no disrespect to him but re if this is true eight figures against charles martin come on now i mean <laughs> i've seen people price themselves out before i've even had people price themselves out of things on this channel <laughs> now hold on Joe Stunner look at this right look know. click on Joe Stunner Mark I'm a former wealth away who's now 53 and 7 days down give me a family size packet of monster munch and you can fight me okay I'll tell you what mate I'll tell you what the family size monster munch is going a step too far yeah he's pricing himself out mm -hmm. I did find that a little bit funny in all seriousness um if, if this is true, and I hope it's not, I think that Deontay Wilder will be well advised to take two, maybe even three, tune-up fights. And I said this in previous videos. And I said the, the reason why... Well, this is when they were talking about having the trilogy fight with Tyson Fury. And I said he'd be best advised to take a few tune-up fights for less money because it will help build his confidence. All right? And I said, and I actually said in those videos that 
his team obviously want the Tyson Fury fight because it's a big payday. They're not going to want to put Deontay Wilder in there against, you know, Charles Martin, Adam Kalnacki, Robert Hellenius, just guys like that for, you know, maybe high couple of hundred grand or, you know, a, a million or two there. They're not going to want to do that, take a hit on a show where they can put him in with someone like Tyson Fury and get eight figures legitimately. I reckon that his team have just said, you know what, we've been getting this money for so long. We want to keep getting this money. You know, what's a million dollars to us these days? Because we've been getting, you know, in the high millions the last, you know, couple of fights like Ortiz and like Fury and the first Fury fight as well. I suspect it's kind of probably more. Maybe it is Wilder as well because we all know. And look, right? I don't hate Deontay Wilder as some people may think I do. I don't. I like the guy as from a fighting person, from a fighting point of view, I like watching him fight. But you're never going to tell me that this guy is smart. You're never going to convince me that this man is smart. Do I think that he himself would come out and say, I want that? Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. I mean, Deontay Wilder, if he ever came to Ireland, there's a couple of counties in the west coast of Ireland I think you should visit. You'd feel right at home there. Um, the man is not... The man is just... And it's his team as well. Like Whether he's still got Shelley Finkel or not, I don't know. But eight figures for Charles Martin? Really? If this is true, seriously? Come on. Realistic. You got to be realistic. Charles Martin is a fine comeback fight for Deontay Wilder. I think stylistically, Martin plays into Deontay, he's very slow, he's very open, be easy to hit, be easy to time, but eight figures, really, 10 million plus, you know, I mean, they, they do say, you know, I was going to say they do say God loves a trier, um, but I suppose that's not really trying, at, at the end of the day, if you're trying to get that, I suppose, but, um, they do say to always shoot for the shoot for the moon, even if you missed, you land amongst the stars. That's shooting for the moon, and then some. If you're thinking you're, you're worth eight figures to fight Charles Martin, I mean, good luck with that. Seriously, best of luck to you trying to get that. In terms of Wilder, I mean, God only knows what he's going to do next week. We haven't heard much from him these last few months, pretty much since he made that video, um, you know, about the whole Glovegate thing, you know. Maybe he went for another autopsy. You know, his brother, according to his brother, he's the only living man to have ever had an autopsy. So, you know, maybe maybe he needs another one or something like that. But, yeah, this, as I said, this is being reported. And I'm reporting on it because I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if there's some validity to it. I wouldn't be shocked if the Martin fight doesn't happen. And it is, if they say it was money, you know, I wouldn't be shocked if it's this. But um, if it's true, eight figures... Come on now. Come on now. Lads and lassies, I'm going to leave this here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button if you could. Really, 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 really does help out. You know, subscribe, of course, if you're new, if you haven't already. Hashtag GMAs rocks, all that good stuff. Lads, I'll talk to you. Peace.